come straight back into it. I'm just going to add some more veins over this side, I think. Something that's sort of crossing the um, the bumps here and there. Okay, now if I um, reverse the mask and go back to that and color everything is set normal. Okay, now what I might do is I might just sort of go over this with a bit of a smooth just so that we, we sort of take out some of the the underlying texture underneath this mask. Try to remember where we did the smooth. Okay, now if we go over things we don't get too much sort of distortion by the little corn kernels. So yeah, I don't mind that. And so that sort of looks more like that. Just bring that back and then go over this and smooth this again. Just with the mask on so that we don't disrupt too much of the definition around the rest of this section. Oops. That might be a little bit too much. Okay, try again. Unfortunately, working at this level of detail does require the occasional sort of running through again and again. Yeah, that's a nice middle ground. I think we can live with that. If we um, go back out to the larger portion, larger sort of view, we can see that yeah that is now definitely underneath this section here there is sort of stuff feeding into it. So yeah I like that. It's uh, starting to get a very sort of heavy metal feel to it. Um, not that it looks like anything metallic but like the sort of heavy metal style or um, perhaps somebody wants to uh, download a still of this video and get a tattoo of it. I think it would look quite good. Might just have a um, a look into these um, these eyes again, just because reviewing the last video, I realised that I'd actually smoothed out this this section quite a bit uh, before I. Uh, realize that the um, the smooth brush was um, on Ziad. So what I might do is come in here and just with the standard brush, I'm going to click on the main color um, swatch here and hold down the mouse button and just sort of just look for a color that's similar to the colors around it. And with that color selected I'm just going to switch that off just come in and cover up some of this this mess that I made before and then sort of smooth this back out 
Hmm. I think I just made it worse. Maybe if I tried a bit of smoothing. That's not too bad. Yeah, I can live with that. Oops. Alright, now the uh, next thing that I want to do is really sort of darken up these borders um, where the mesh is going to meet, um, just so that uh, when it does meet in the game, and we do have this noticeable sort of jump in the uh, normal map, uh, we will have a fairly dark edge to it, which will um, which will help us to sort of uh, cover up any of that um, that hard line being visible. We're also going to take down the specularity around this edge here when we get it into UDK just so that we don't have that line um, showing up uh, when the when light moves uh, across it and sort of minimize that sort of meeting as much as possible. So the first thing that I'll, uh, the first step in, in achieving that is I'm going to hide out this central section. So just um, holding control and shift and clicking twice in that middle section. And I'm going to go for a nice dark color, in fact, almost black. In fact, for in all intents and purposes, that is more or less black. Then I go up to color, and before I do that, I'll go up to the RGB intensity and turn that up. Go to color and fill object. And now that is black. And if we bring back our section, it has only filled in the sections that um, that we had visible. So that's a, a little tip to keep in mind. Just sort of okay. Now, if I um, if I zoom in here, I'm just going to perhaps uh, blur between these two edges or these two surfaces just to start getting that that sort of dark edge in the uh, the side of our object this is one of those times when we might be better off um, now if I just turn on frame got a feeling that the smooth um, brush might still have... No, it didn't. Okay, that's fine. All right, and it is turned up to maximum, so... Um, take the focal shift down a little bit, see if that increases the amount of blurring that we, that we apply. Now... What I might do is well first I'll I'll go around and I'll I'll smooth out um all of these edges. So I'll just pause the video and do that. Okay, so I've um I've smoothed out that transition there. A bit more there. Um now um it's still not sort of darkening up those edges quite as much as I'd like. So what I might do is actually come through with um, I'll just switch color uh, to black, turn the intensity down to about 70, and with our with our standard brush selected, I'm going to um, switch on lazy mouse, and I did that by tapping the L key and bring the draw size down. We'll see how we go, just sort of dragging that up like that. So you can see that that's adding that, that sort of darkened edge there. So we'll go through and we'll uh, apply those um, to all of the edges.